Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about another method of, of a print. I'm gonna show you a demo first, then I'm gonna explain, okay? Uh, suppose uh, inside this controller, we have another method is for edit customer, okay? Edit customer, and I'm gonna have a get mapping for the edit, okay? And when I do edit, uh, here I don't have a, uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time to set up the project. So in this case, I will create a hard coded customer here. Then I will add in the request scope using the model interface. And then I will forward this uh, forward to cust uh, edit the customer form page. Okay. Uh, first thing is, uh, let me change a little bit on the phone so I can have a customer constructor here. Okay, so I don't need to call all the setters. Uh, first one, I will select none, so I have a default constructor. And then I have another one. You must have a default constructor in order to do data binding, okay? And uh, then I have another customer which has this one. I'm gonna use in my uh, where in in my controller. Okay. Next one, I'm gonna create a constructor for customer two. Uh, have a default one. Okay. Then I have another one which is constructor. Okay. And after I'm done the two constructors, I'm going back to our customer controller. So here, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a phone, okay? And I'm gonna use new, let me import first phone. And here I'm gonna use one, two, three, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. 641451 four, one, four, five, one. Uh, 899 nine. how about zero? zero is fine too and then I can create a customer customer equals new customer customer will have a name let me tell you another name of me okay Tina is my nickname and uh, this is my I only has one last name okay and I have to put a phone here right uh, next one, I'm gonna put this customer in request scope. I'm gonna using an attribute, and the key I'm gonna call customer, and the value is the customer, and I'm gonna return to customer edit. How about edit form? Okay. And uh, in my custom edit form, uh, in my custom edit form, oh, he will automatically retrieve, right? In my customer edit form. Let me see if this case happens, okay? I don't think I can mimic using this one. Let me try. Because the problem is um, we are not using Spring uh, form form tag library. When we give the value, we have to use the value to automatic binding and that's gonna use EO expression. I don't think it's gonna work in this case. Yes. I don't think if I use uh, if I using uh, the JSP with with HTML form, it won't uh, it it there's no need to use that. Let me show you the reason for that. Okay, so I'm copy here. I'm gonna here a student save user, but this one is uh, edit a customer. 
and uh, the reason for that is here you're gonna using the value and uh, using the ear expression to bind and the customer dot customer dot first and the same thing for others right a customer dot uh, what's the um, customer dot uh, last customer dot the phone this is gonna call the two string method of the phone so uh, I'm sorry um, if we're using the HTML form there's no need for this uh, phone formatter uh, print method but if we're using HTML form okay uh, sorry if we're using spring form tag library then definitely you need to have a print method when you do edit so first let me show you the scenario to prove if we're using html form there's no need to have a print method okay let me show you Okay, uh, it's app. So I'm gonna switch to the Chrome and show you the actual page. So the first thing I'm gonna change is the to go to the edit. Okay, you can see this is uh, the values I create. I hard coded in the controller edit a uh, customer and uh, this is is called the two string method so in this case if we're using html form uh, html form to submit a form there's no need for using print method but after i introduce a spring form tag library i'm gonna call uh, come back and show you the print method used in spring form tag library okay see here uh, when i type there's no need because when you do this one this is gonna using the parse method to submit the form okay and uh, but uh, we learn another thing is when we're using the form uh, when we're using the html form there is no need there is no need to have a print method implemented okay and uh, see you uh, soon I'm gonna make uh, in the in the description I'm gonna list the videos for that print method that is used okay sorry for this video and uh, hope you gain knowledge from this video too okay see you soon bye bye